Watch the video to the end. At the end of the video, I'll give you details on how you can enter to win these two bad boys. Hey, my fellow Follicle friends, here's me. It's DJ from Carrots Brotherhood. Welcome back to the channel. Carrots Brotherhood is all about building confidence in your hair loss through transparency, empathy, and positivity. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Before I jump into today's content, the first thing I want to say is thank you. Like, honestly, thank you to all of you, to you watching this video right now. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and leaving comments and really like contributing to the growth of this channel because this channel is not just about me, it's about us together. And because of your efforts, we've made it past 1,000 subscribers and I couldn't be happier about you know the way that this channel has kind of taken off and people joining the, the Carrots and Brotherhood community and really you know contributing to something that's gonna help the lives of other guys who are experiencing the same thing that I'm experiencing. So let's jump straight into the bad things, because I know that's why you guys are here. You want to hear the bad things first. The bad things about taking the medicine for two months is nothing, actually. <laughs> nothing. There's nothing bad that's happening. There's no erectile dysfunction. There's no poor semen quality. There's no trouble sleeping. There's, there's no brain fog. There's, there's none of these side effects that a lot of other guys have talked about experiencing while taking the medicine. And you know me, I'm completely transparent on this channel, so I give it to you straight. And I would tell you if I was experiencing anything. Uh, and honestly, I haven't. I haven't experienced any of the side effects other than the headaches that I was experiencing in the first, in the first month. If you saw my previous video, which I'll link up here, you can go back and see that I was actually suffering from really bad headaches a few hours after taking the medicine. Question of the day. If you have been using finasteride for more than two months, when did you first start noticing that your hair was regrowing or getting thicker? Drop it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Now let's talk about the good things. And I'm really excited to talk about this. Two nights ago, I was shampooing my hair. And on any other occasion where I shampoo my hair, I would actually see like shedding. I would see hairs in my hand mixed in with the shampoo. It, it was almost like a continual shed. I had been experiencing like a, a, a mega shed since December of last year. So for the past four months, I was experiencing like some crazy shedding to the point where my, my crown was beginning to look bald again. And if you look at the picture, you can see that I had no hairs in my hand. I, I was shocked actually, because I looked at it. I looked at it, I didn't see anything. I'm like, hold on a second. So I washed my hands, I, I rinsed them off and I put it in shampoo again. I shampooed my hair again and I looked again. There was. There was nothing, nothing to see. And I'm like, what the hell is this a fluke, dude? Like, after my shower, I dried my hair and I always apply minoxidil in the morning and evening. So I went ahead and applied the minoxidil. And you look at this picture. This is my hand after applying minoxidil. And you can see there's only one hair right there on my ring finger. Like, that's literally the only hair. Like, I know I'm not supposed to expect anything to happen when, like, for the first three to six months, uh, anything measurable, anyways. But this is shocking to me, guys. Like, it's only been two months and, like, I'm not shedding anymore. Like the shedding stopped. And I'm like, okay, that's that's huge for me because you know, if you're losing your hair, shedding is just like a daily, like watching your hairs like fall into the sink or into the drain or as you're shampooing, it's just more and more hairs in your hand. And like I, for the first time in fucking dude, like years, like I don't have, I don't have hairs in my hand. <laughs> that's a pretty cool gig for me, dude. I like that. Even more than just not shedding anymore, the other great thing that I noticed is that I'm actually regrowing my hair. Like my, like my hair has thickened uh, more than it was just 30 days ago. Um, and, and more than it was two months ago. Um, for those of you who don't know, I had a hair transplant in 2014, but I had hairs transplanted from the hairline here. All, all of this is transplanted. This whole hairline is like, transplanted. And I had hairs transplanted from here all the way back just to here, like this point here. Nothing in the crown. And so you can actually see in the picture, like my, my crown was bald, like super bald. And so I just jumped on minoxidil after the hair surgery. The doctor recommended Propecia at that time, and I said no, uh, because of, you know I was worried about side effects, and I was still young, I was like 29 years old, so I didn't want to deal with that. All of that regrowth you see on the crown, that's from just minoxidil and derma rolling. Like, I'm, I'm not shitting you. Like, there's no finasteride, there was no finasteride, there was no hair transplants into the crown. All that is is minoxidil and derma rolling. I've always been a huge proponent of those two, but it got to the point where I guess the DHT was just overpowering the hair follicles. And even though I was using minoxidil, as I was as the minoxidil was helping hairs regrow, the DHT was just killing the follicles and causing the shed. And there was like a continual cycle uh, for like the past year until December of last year when it just became completely uncontrollable. And like I was basically bald again. This picture here, this picture is actually from uh, March 2nd of this year. 
so about five weeks ago. Pardon the dandruff. If you use minoxidil liquid, you know, the liquid minoxidil will actually dry out your scalp, so. But you can actually see, like, in these, in my crown area, where I was really thinning again, compared to the first picture. You know, that was just from shedding. I shed all of those hairs out of there, out, out of the crown. But fast forward until just two days ago in the shower, this is me after the shower. I, my hair is still wet in this picture, and you can already see like the difference in just 30 days, dude. That's 30 days of regrowth. Go, go back to the, go back in the video and compare last month, March 2nd, to this month, two days ago, and you tell me that there's not a difference there. You can even look at the dry hair picture. It's the same picture. I dried my hair, and you can still see that it's regrowth. Like all of those hairs are regrowing. The, the dark hairs have gotten darker. The thin hairs are getting thicker, and it's only been. 67, say 68 days? Guys, that is, dude, that is huge, man. That is fucking huge, dude. I am stoked about that. So thank you guys for checking back in on my two month update for Finasteride for the entire year. I'll be putting out a monthly update about my Finasteride hair regrowth journey. Hopefully, if you're taking Finasteride, you're seeing the similar results. How to enter the contest? So first, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Second, in the comment section of this video, leave a comment telling me what kind of content you'd like to see me put out in the future. Whether it's about hair fibers, or if it's about minoxidil, or if it's about finasteride. Drop a comment down below telling me what kind of content you'd like to see me produce in the future. Alright, do those two things guys, and it automatically enters you for the contest. I will announce a winner on May 6th, and I'll choose one of you guys as the winner. Thanks again for tuning in the channel. Thank you so much again for making a thousand subscribers possible for us. My name is DJ from Character Brotherhood. I'll see you guys in the next video.